All right. Uh, today is not my lucky day. This is going to be my first and last run, and then I have to pedal home. <laughs> I wish I had brought the van because um, error code 64. I believe it's the battery inside this unit that just died for no good reason. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna have to take it to to the workshop, or I'm gonna try and buy a new battery because it's been three years. I mean, to be fair, um, three years is quite a long time. And um, but yeah, I don't have gearing to climb anything. Just the sand. I have a 36 tooth chain ring up front and uh, 36 in the back. That's my base gear in the back. So yeah, not gonna break any world records with that setup. So I'm gonna take it slower and just try and find a gear. Yes. Yeah. I feel good. I also feel good. Oh my God. That didn't feel good at all. Okay, I didn't notice that it's such a big bottom out that it doesn't have a proper landing. Really? Really? Oh my god. Can I move this tree? That's the question. Can I move this tree? I don't think I can. Right, but if I have to, it has to be in this direction. No nah, man, it's too heavy. This needs to be chopped down. I need to come here with the axe and uh, do some work. Anyways, how uh, could you somehow jump it? <laughs> well, this way you can actually, that's what people have been doing apparently and uh but unless you're Danny McCaskill or somebody like that you can't okay oh look a high line they're making new opening new lines in this uh park all the time it's the most used downhill slash enduro park out here so yeah, it makes sense. I'm gonna use the high line. Yeah, nah, it's bound to happen. You jump that. Oh my God. The bear still has the Christmas uh, apparel. Perfect. And we go this way because there's a big jump I just discovered today that um, I can progress on. It's very long. I think it's 10 meters long. It's usually for motorcycles, uh, but it's a tabletop, so Jesus, might as well. That was fun. 